in question number 5 so first question is to draw the ogive curve height of 100 pupils in a class are given below so using this table we will find out the median height lower quartile height and semi interquartile range and number of students whose height is less than or equals to 172 fine so we need to draw the ogive curve of this so less than cumulative frequency will make the table and we'll find out if you observe the data, this is a inclusive case, 121 to 130, so heights in centimeters, and 131 to 140, 141 to 150. We should convert into exclusive class intervals and find out the table. Okay, let me take the table first. You should prepare the table and graph. From the graph only, we need to find out the values. Okay, this is a six marks question. And if you take the table for this uh, data, we need uh, one, five columns. Okay, we need the total number of columns should be five. Okay. Heights in the given in centimeters. So first we take the height. Height is in centimeters, but there is a inclusive case. So that's why you need to convert into one more column exclusive case. And number of pupils so frequency is given. And less than cumulative uh, table and points will find out so let me take this data in this uh, five columns first one is height height is is in centimeters height is in centimeters but that's from 121 to 130 so 121 to 130 and 131 to 140 so this is the given and 141 to 150 150 to one, uh, 151 to 160, 161 to 170 till 180 is given and 171 to 180 okay. and exclusive class intervals. This you are converting to exclusive because we need to convert exclusive only can make the graph. So 121 to 130. There is 0 0.5 decrease and 0 0.5 increase because 130 to 131, one number is difference. So we can change it as 120.5 to 130.5. Again, same 130.5 because 131 minus 0 0.5 is 130.5 to 140.5. Okay, 140.5 to 150 .5 and 150.5 to 160.5 160.5 to 170.5 and uh, 170.5 to 180.5 this is the exclusive class intervals and number of pupils this is the given data already number of your pupils take this so f fi so it's a frequency right so that is given 12 16 30 20 in the table it's given already so 14 and 8 now we can using this you can find out this so um, cf cumulative frequency but less than cumulative frequency so less than curve only we need to make so first number is 12 as it is and 12 plus 16 28 28 plus next number is 30 so 58 just add like this so 78 92 and 100 so total number of students are 100 and we need to make the points so these points only we should point on the graph so starting is 120.5 that means starting can take the 0 120.5 to 0 0.5 comma 0 will take and remaining points will take the upper limit so here exclusive upper limit is 130.5 so 130.5 comma and this number is 12 okay this is on x axis and cumulative frequency is on y axis and next to 140.5 comma 28 so starting is 120.5 comma 0 if I start from 0 it is again it is 150.5 comma 58 160.5 comma 78 and 170.5 comma 92 and 180.5 comma 100 this will put on the graph 
and here number of uh, frequency that is n is equals to totally sounded because of n is the even number then median so median is equals to n by 2 so 100th observation by 2 that is 50th observation so 50th observation will find out to get the median and then let us take the graph for this data if you observe take the graph x axis and y axis x axis is this and y axis so starting it's not from zero so you can use this uh, kink symbol and starting you can take 120.5 so this 120.5 again 130.5 140.5 150.5, 160 160.5, 170.5, 180.5, and so on. It is on x-axis. So this is the height in centimeters, and y-axis is the number of pupils. So y-axis. So number of uh, pupils okay, just you can take now if you uh, this uh, y axis highest value is 100 so you can take 10 10 units so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 okay just next point is 100 you can use the graph properly in your original and just first one is 130 uh, 120.0 so starting 120.5 comma 0 take this is 0 point and next one these points that is 130.5 comma 12 and 140.5 comma 28 these all the points you plot in this graph so 130.5 comma 12 that means after 10 2 millimeters so 1 millimeter is 1 unit here so 10 centimeters is 10 students no oh, sorry sorry 1 centimeter is so uh, 10 centimeters. 1 centimeter is 10 millimeters so 1 millimeter is 1 pupil so 1 unit and next is 140.5 comma 28 so 28 or 28 point again 150 and for that is 58 so up to 58 point and next is 78 78 is here and followed by 92 and 100 so after 92 and just 100 okay just uh, graph is not there you can adjust and you can arrange these lines using the free hand if you join these lines then using the free hand you can join take graph like this then here along x-axis along x-axis 2 centimeters is equals to here okay 1 centimeter is 10 units 10 units and similarly y-axis also 1 centimeter is 10 people y-axis also same 1 centimeter is uh, 10 units there is a graph now median is equals to 50th observation that means from 50th observation you can take line okay you need to 50 is here from 50 take the line where you touch this arc or the curve you can join the straight line to downwards so from here you can take the straight line 140 150 some more this side so 148 you can use the arrow marks you need to keep arrow marks from where to where it's coming you should show therefore median that is equals to 50th observation so median height where touched on x-axis 148 
centimeters and lower quartile okay if you know what you need to find out lower quartile is second semi inter quartile range is third so if you want lower quartile that is a q1 q1 is so n by fourth n by fourth observation so 100 by 4 that is 25th observation so from 25 you can take straight line so here between 20 and 20 30 25 is there take the straight line from there you can draw down so it's around touching 138 approximately so 138.5 to join this no 25th night so that is uh, therefore q1 is equals to so from the OG 25th observation is 138.5 so 138.5 centimeters then upper quartile because you want to range you need to find out q1 q3 so q3 is equals to 3 by 4 into nth observation that is 3 into 100 by 4 that is 75th observation then q3 we can find out using this so 75th line so from 75th you can take straight line from 75th okay if you take the line 70 and 80 between 75 take straight line from there you can join so 150 near to 160 in previous line so 159 it is so just you can keep arrows down so where it's touching on x-axis 159 so this is the q3 that is 159 centimeters now if you know q1 q3 you can find out the semi interquartile range therefore semi interquartile range is equals to q3 minus q1 divided by 2 that is 159 minus 138.5 divided by 2 do subtraction and do division you get 10.25 okay that is 10.25 10.25 is the semi interquartile range now number of students if you observe number of students whose height is less than or equals to 172 so from 172 we we'll take the line if you take from 172 you should take up that means yeah you should take from 172 so after 170.5 next 171.5 172.5 so in between will get the 170 okay according to the question 172 number so 172 you can take straight line okay and let me take you can take the straight line there and it's very touching is uh, just more one more line fourth millimeter if you take the graph okay. this side is this side the both side therefore from the graph we can write that so using this graph we can number of students whose height is less than or equals to 172 centimeters is 94 students touching at 94 right therefore number of uh, students whose height whose height is uh, less than or equal equals to 172 centimeters so 172 centimeters is equals to 94 students because it touch the y-axis at 94 based on this so we need to draw the graph before solving this uh, answers first of all you should make the table clearly and plot those points on the graph and you can find out right this is about this uh, question now let us see next one the sum of numerator and denominator of the fraction is 8 okay if 1 is added to both the numerator and denominator the fraction is increased by 1 by 15 find the fraction that means difference of the both fractions is 1 by 15 
So let us take the numerator is x if the b in this. So let numerator of the fraction be x. Okay. Let numerator. So numerator of, of the fraction. Numerator of the fraction be x. If the numerator is x and denominator is 8 minus x because the sum is 8. Okay, sum of the numerator and denominator is 8. Then denominator. Then denominator of the fraction becomes 8 minus x. <coughs> okay, then fraction we can write. Then fraction is equals to x by 8 minus x. This is a fraction. Now according to the question, the new fraction. As per question, the new fraction is 1 is added for both. So x plus 1 and 8 minus x plus 1. That is 9 minus x. 1 is added for both numerator and denominator. Then if you see the condition, difference of this both is 1 by 15. Okay. This increased by 1 by 15 means difference of the both fractions is 1 by 15. Okay, here. Then according to the question, these both differences. Therefore, you can take x plus 1 because this is the big one 9 minus x because this is increased so this should be first minus x by 8 minus x is equals to 1 by 15 that's it this if you simplify you get the value of x if you know x we can find out the numerator and denominator both then just do cross map lcm x plus 1 into 8 minus x minus x into 9 minus x by 9 minus x into 8 minus x is equals to 1 by 15 and by simplifying this all you get so not doing all simplification you can simplify each and everything finally get 8 minus 2x by denominator if you multiply x squared minus 17 x plus 72 is equals to 1 by 15 again do cross multiplication this both by doing cross multiplication Again, you will get cross multiply and simplify. Then x squared plus 13x minus 48 is equal to 0. By doing cross multiplication and simplification, take all the terms on side. Then factorize this. That is x squared plus 16x minus 3x because 16 minus 3 is a minus 48. Minus 48 is equal to 0. Then x you take common x plus 16 minus 3 common x plus 16 is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 16 into x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then here x is equal to minus 16 or x is equal to plus 3. x is equal to plus 3 only take because this is a neglected. Because there is no negative or later in this fractions. Therefore, required fraction 3 is the x value. Then denominator is 8 minus 3 is of 5. Therefore, the required fraction is equals to 3 by the denominator is 8 minus x. That means 3 by 8 minus 3 that is equals to 3 by 5. Right? So, 3 by 5 is the required fraction. So, what you have to find out that is the fraction. Right? Okay, this is the question number 5. Now, let us see the problem 6 and we will solve this problem. 